Friction is the resistance to relative motion between two contacting surfaces. There are two main types of friction. Static friction, which is friction between two solid objects not moving relative to each other. And the other is kinetic friction, which is friction between two solid bodies that are moving relative to each other. The formula for static friction is the maximum static friction force equals the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. The normal force usually equals the weight of the object. The formula for kinetic friction is that the friction force equals the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force, which is normally the weight of the object. Here we have an illustration of friction in action, where we have a mass with an applied force where there is a static coefficient of friction and a kinetic coefficient of friction. When a force greater than the maximum static friction force is applied to the mass, then it accelerates, as illustrated here. When this force ceases to be applied to the mass, then the kinetic friction force slows the mass down. until it comes to a complete stop. The next illustration involves reducing the value of the applied force to below that of the maximum static friction force. This results in the friction force equaling the applied force. This results in a zero net force, and so no motion occurs. Whenever the applied force is below the maximum static friction force, the friction force always equals the applied force. This principle applies all the way down to zero applied force. Furthermore, when you increase the mass of an object sitting on a surface, you increase both the static and kinetic friction between that object and the surface it is sitting on. The reverse is also true. As you decrease the mass of an object sitting on a surface, you decrease both the static and kinetic friction between that object and the surface it is sitting on. In conclusion, friction results from the contact of two surfaces. Friction always works against motion, so as a result, friction slows things down.